Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Rad with Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and also uh, Leo Rising weekly general tarot reading October 18th up until October 24th, uh, 2021. And uh, should you be interested, guys, in a personal reading with me, or uh, if you do want to take my tarot classes, Checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, where you can view and purchase either or both of these services. And as well, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, uh, just leave a like, subscribe or hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads. So with that being set aside, moving straight away to the Leo reading of the weekend, the very first card for Leo, that will be the Eight of Wands, uh, followed by the second card here, which stands as the Four of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, what we do have, that is going to be the Chariot card for Leo, followed by uh, the Six of Swords. And uh, the last card for you guys, uh, that seems to be the, uh, the Hangman. So quite a lot of a work you will be able to get uh, along with or to get out of your way into this uh, upcoming week. And, and right at the start, as we can see here with uh, the Eight of Cup or with the Eight of Wands, I'm sorry, Leo, uh, things are really going to speed up the pace um, in your environment, career wise and as well relationship wise and in generally in, into your entire uh, life. Now, uh, with the Eight of Wands, there are going to be quite a lot of uh, opportunities, quite a lot of openings as well, quite a lot of loose ends, so to speak, where you can you can pretty much uh, involve yourself into, where you can pretty much take a participation into. Um, now, the Eight of Wands, it is the little brother of the Wheel of Fortune, and it kind of like gifts you with, I cannot say that truly is a luck, but it gifts you with being at the right place in the right time. However, the difference in between these two cards is that uh, while with the Wheel of Fortune, you can uh, pretty much walk away or get away with uh, almost anything. Uh, here with the Eight of Wands, you will have to face circumstance or consequences, I'm sorry, not circumstances, consequences. And therefore, uh, which whatever uh, opportunity opening or a lose end, so to speak, um, present yourself to you at the start of the week, uh, you will have to face it with a uh, open and clear-headed mind, so you do not involve yourself into an undertaking or an an, um, an situation uh, that uh, you will regret regret later on. So here you have to, you 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 must lean on towards your logical thinking, okay, and towards a. Um, as well your interest because if there is something you do not have interest into you should not throw yourself into it just uh, for the sake of having something to do and uh, based on these openings in these um, loose ends uh, the four of pentacles it's a very positive card as a follow-up to the eight of wands now some of you are going to focus on one thing specifically and they will make, uh, at least as the Four of Pentacles stands, they will make significantly a good decision. Some of you are going to try to juggle with uh, more than one thing, with two, three, a few things around, you know, a few opportunities around, which some of them may prove to be a poor choices. But for the most part, uh, with the Four of Pentacles, with your choices at the start of the week, you are be you are going to be able to ensure your certain and secure future. So while you may make some bad decisions, for the most part, or the majority of your decisions at the start of the week, how you are to approach your future and what opportunities to take are going to be an accurate or rather like a good decisions. And uh, with those decisions, like I said, you will be able to establish your certain and secure future career wise, relationship wise as well. And not just only that level, but with the four of pentacles, you will be at that point have, to, have taken the necessary measures, the necessary 
um, preparations, so to speak, so you can guard your um, your accomplishments, so you can guard what you what you already have. And therefore, uh, in this week, you can expect that you are to consolidate, uh, solidify your position at work, your position at your social circle, okay, your position at uh, at your relationship life as well, and um, you are to be um, uh, feeling, well, how can I say, secured uh, for what is the future throwing at you. And uh, right after that, the chariot card uh, takes place, and uh, the chariot here uh, plays for you halfway through because instead of uh, playing like you will have to struggle against the odds that are stacked against you and you know you really have to push very very hard here the chariot plays like the um the 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 pride of of one's accomplishments and the pride of one's achievements take it that way guys uh, like uh, in the medieval ages or rather like with these sci-fis that we are that we were used to watch uh, back in the 90s where there were a castle there were a, a treasure within the castle right and the treasure was guarded by a dragon or by any kind of a mythical beast and you are the hero to claim the treasure. And here with uh, the uh, chariot card, the hero have cut claimed the treasure and they feel very proud. And not just only feel, but they are very proud. Uh, they have a merit to be very proud of, uh, of themselves and of uh, their efforts. So the chariot here shows that you your effort is going to be very strong and therefore a rewarded appropriately. And uh, at that mid stage of the week, you can truly enjoy the look of your hard work accomplishments and uh, simply uh, kind of like feel no, indestructible, indomitable. I don't know how to say it. Now, uh, that is the plus, si the plus side of this card. Now, the negative side of the chariot, it is that this um, standpoint that literally there is nothing in this world that you cannot undertake or get over with, okay, could make you uh, do some premature involvement, like premature involvement with somebody or into something as well. And even if, if you do so, that that is where the negativity, so to speak, ends because it doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to fail. It just, it means that, you know, but, uh, with that premature um, involvement you make made the things a little bit more harder to yourself than they should have been and uh, right after that the six of swords plays out for you by the way this is a card that comes out into every star sign that I, that I read thus far and uh, we can say that this card it is kind of like the insignia of that week and uh, the Six of Swords is always the card where uh, one is, I cannot say abandoning, but it is like leaving behind, at least for now, uh, the future that it is, or rather like the, the accomplishments which are thus far stable and it is striving toward a new shores. And therefore at late, at these late stages of the week, you Leo should think about, you know, what kind of a dream and what kind of a goal you have in your mind for the long term and that the time had came here to make the very first, maybe baby steps for some, maybe a lion's jump for others but to make something about it. Because the uh, parable of the Six of Swords, it is that if you do have a dream and if you do have a goal, just thinking positively for, of it, it's, it's not gonna make it true. Actions and decisions are needed. And every start is difficult, right? Uh, most, mostly accompanied by being scared, of, of the results by being scared what is going to come out of it by being scared are you up for the task or not well you should not allow yourself to succumb to the fear here but instead 
just traverse that threshold of fear and you will see that in reality uh, there was nothing for you to be afraid of so if you do have somebody you like and you are afraid to share that with them well share it and even if you got yourself denied at least at the end of the day you will know not to waste your time and you can accomplish that goal of being loved with somebody else because that will the very least make you open your heart for a somebody else that that was just an, an example but whatever you are afraid of you have to challenge it here at the end of this week and the result of this challenge is going to be the hangman okay so hangman uh, in your case leo it's very undefined card because the hangman it sits simultaneously as a test and as well as a breakthrough and what it says it is that at the end of the week in regards to your dream and to your goal you had done anything you could okay all that was up to you to do and to say and to decide of and uh, now the rest of the development at least for that stage sits beyond you meaning that it sits into someone else's hands or into the uh into the time flow of the universe no different than if we follow that example you say somebody that you like them and that you want to be with them you overcame your fear of not saying and now they have to decide does they want to be with you you cannot decide for them you do you, you did your part and now only thing you can do is just wait for them to make up their mind right and uh no matter how helpless you are to feel because at the end of the week that is how you're gonna feel you overcame your fear you did what you could and still no results okay and uh, that may make you feel helpless or hopeless as well but no matter how dark that time will feel for you the sky the, the skies that had been darkened they are going to be set into light again for you and all that you have to do is just wait and that is the test can you resist the hectic, the hectic wavering of that there are no immediate results, but the results are going to follow with delay? And so with that being said, Leo, that was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, for October 18th up until October 24th, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.